for so long I've been trying to get you out of my head Oh yeah But somehow I always seem to wake up in your bed You're having a great weekend. It's Saturday and I have great plans. However, we're expecting ice. Wish it were snow, then it wouldn't affect my plans at all. But we're expecting ice and freezing rain, so I may end up being stuck in the house. Not good, but we don't know yet. Um, the plan still may still come through. But for now, I am going to work on my, I guess what I used to call it was my project closet but it has turned into a hot mess. So I am going to take this morning and I'm going to fix it. But before I do, I'm going to turn the camera around and share my deep, dark, ugly secret with you. Hold on just a second. So my friends, here it is on top, all the way to bottom. Now, as you can see, I have paper in the back, the walls are painted nicely, so I did really try to keep this neat. I really, really did. I started out with a good effort, but this is where I ended up with my overflow of paint, and then I had my dishes, and my dishes kept growing, and then I have spray paint, and miscellaneous items all over the place. So today, I have got to fix that. Look at this. I'm assuming that some things will be purged and hopefully they will be good enough to bless someone else and those that are not will get thrown away. But this has got to change. Now, that's not all. See, like I said, I was trying to be organized. Look at this door. And it, it got out of hand as well. This was supposed to be for just small little things. And look it. It's horrible. And it is starting to mess with my psyche. So it has to be fixed. So that's what we're going to do today. Can you believe this mess? I told you. It's my deep dark secret. And it's ugly. But I think we can fix it. Don't you? So I'm going to show you some organizing things that I bought that may help me on this journey. Because this is really, I mean, even though the door is closed, I know what's in there, so it's driving me nuts and I can't, I can't do it any longer. I have another deep dark secret, but that's for another time. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you what I bought to help me with this. Okay guys, so I've been buying things along the way. Like I said, this closet has been bugging me for quite a while, so during the holidays, um, while I was out and about. These three black ones here I got from what used to be the Dollar Tree, but now I got, um, it's now what, $5? So I got those three for $5, there's three of them. And you can see the price right there, that's Dollar Tree. And then Michaels sent me a flyer, they must have been in my head, for plate storage, but they were thinking about holidays, I was thinking about forever. <laughs> and I ordered them. They were really inexpensive during the holidays. Um, I got three of the ones that hold salad plates, and each one holds 12. And then I got three of the ones that hold dinner plates, and each one of those holds 12. So that'll take that down a bit. And from Walmart, I got these four. I have them stacked. You can stack them, but they are separate. Um, each one is one. Yeah, you can see that. So I got these four, and they were, 
I want to say $9.97 each. And then this blue one here, oh, it's going to hold some of the little stuff. It was also $9.97. And guys, I almost put this back because it didn't have a price on it. But there were smaller ones that did have a price. And for the smaller ones, they were $13.97. And I said, well, I know this one is more because it's bigger. But Orlando suggested, well, just get a price anyway. So when I got to the register, it was only $9.97. So the larger one was less than, than the bigger one. So tip, always check, even if it doesn't have a price, you might get lucky. And then here, these, this, these came, the smaller ones, like the big ones over there, the big white ones over there, came two for $9.97. So we're going to see if this will help me corral all of this stuff. And then also, um, in my closet, that's driving me nuts, I have some extra storage things that I've been keeping. If you can see down there, if you can see around all this stuff. Um, so I think I might have enough storage items. The thing is to have enough storage space. But a lot of that paint doesn't even match the house anymore. We've repainted, so that can go. Um, and like I said, some of the dishes and things I'm going to have to let go of. It really breaks my heart. You guys know how I love a pretty table. So here we go. And I haven't... I'm hoping that when I'm done, this will look like it belongs in this household. Wish me luck and come along with me. So come on in. Let's get organized. So guys, somebody felt sorry for me and is helping me out in my time of need. <laughs> so Orlando decided to take everything out for me and then it'll be easier for me to get to because I have to get on the step stool to reach the top shelf and the back of the second shelf and he doesn't. So if he just takes it out and then I can vacuum or wipe the shelves down. And then we'll get back to clean, organizing and putting things back. Thank you, Orlando. Say hello to our, our friends. Hello, our friends. <laughs> okay, friends. So we've gotten, Orlando has taken all of the dinnerware out. So he was afraid for me to sit a whole lot on the table because it's glass. So I'm going to have to show you. I started because I thought I could work better from there. But we have some here. We have some here. We have some over there. <laughs> we have some over on the floor. And we have some on this counter. I'm trying to keep the camera low because I also have a small hall. I am um, also going to share a, a hall with you a little bit because I am... Once again, um, setting up my prepper pantry. So don't look up. <laughs> so there's a lot. So I'm going to start sorting through. And uh, we'll, then we'll I'll clean the shelves because he still has the other stuff to take out. And then I'll vacuum the floor. And then we'll start organizing, okay? <music> Time's been moving slowly, so we already in too deep Can't get no sleep on each other Heavy teasing all day and when the sun sets you asking me to come through Kick it with you, night turn into morning too Baby, you know all the places 
got the key to the lock, we in our own zone Make yourself at home, get to know mine on the inside We can meet at your next time And you will live for shit Lose control, you don't wanna go slow For sure, we both already know Your place is mine Places like I do what I could pack up I had to order where are you <laughs> I had to order two more and they'll be in on Wednesday probably they could come on Monday but they're saying what it said it was because of our weather in this area that's projected they weren't going to promise until Wednesday so but I only have a few left out so before I start bringing stuff in and putting the other stuff that's everywhere away I'm going to clean that and I'm going to dust the floor and then um, I can put the bins in that I purchased because I can't fill them up and then move them in here and once I do that then I can start moving everything else in so we're going to get to cleaning starting with the top shelf I am using my Mrs. Myers my favorite peppermint I use it all year round because and peppermint is also what I put in my uh, diffusers too just gives me energy and perks me up, so I like it. So that's what I'm going to be cleaning with. You guys are crooked. Straight now. There you are. Okay. So let's let's get to cleaning.
when things are a mess, you don't know what you have. I have two or six cans of clear coat. Go figure. And you guys are crooked. Again, I can't keep you straight. There. So I think the top shelf is going to be spray paint. As I've told you guys all along, spray paint is my friend. <laughs> It's done. That was quite a job. Um, you should see, and I should have taken a picture, dog, but he's already taken the trash out. I had a huge bag that we are tossing. These are going to be uh, taken back to Goodwill. I just need to put those in a box or taken to Goodwill. I shouldn't say back. All of these, they're pretty, and I really hate to let them go, but it's time. So that's going away. And I'm sorry I didn't keep uh, the trash bag. Orlando was in a hurry to take it out because it's getting really cold out and it's supposed to get bad tonight. And now I'm going to show you the reveal. Okay. So this is the top shelf. And there's not, nothing up there except spray paint and my one uh, two-tier tray. And I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that or not. It was my first one and I've had it for quite, quite some time. We'll see. Here I have those saucers in the back or uh, salad plates in the back. I ran out of the storage containers. And so I ordered two more. They will be here on Wednesday and they will go into that. And the two black containers are bowls. Um, I'm hoping that when I get the one and the, I'm sorry, when I hope that when I get the dinnerware storage containers in on Wednesday, I think it said, that those will fit and possibly some of the bowls and then I can get rid of one of those black containers because they seem to take up more space than the dinnerware containers do. But anyway, I had to order two. So those won't be sitting out like that any longer. I have a few more decorative items here. And then on this shelf, and they all fit on the one shelf, which I was very happy about. And the door closes just fine. The large plates are in the back. The saucers and salad plates are in front. I have them marked and I would have had them labeled, but my hand labeler is not working today for some reason, so I'm gonna have to order another one. But I have spring and summer over here. No, spring and fall over here spring and summer over here and Christmas over here and in the back are the large dinner plates and I think that'll be a lot easier to set a table I can just pull those out sit them down all at one time and there you have it down here I have storage I had a lot of storage containers I'm not getting rid of those they're new never used um, a couple of decorative items there and more storage over there. These storage containers came in really handy. The ones with the drawers here, they came in really, really handy. As did this, these are housing like um, extra nails and that kind of thing that Orlando likes to keep in the house, uh, the hammer and all of that. And down here, this is just great. The bottom ones are the excess paint that were in jars that we're not getting rid of because they go somewhere in the house or I can use them. Um, 
This one here has tools and that kind of thing that we keep in the house. And on top of that, I have my excess um, shelf lining paper. And then here I have my drill, my sander, and uh, my stapler that we keep in, in house. And that's that, but guys, in comparison to before, oh, I didn't show you the door. Most of these are empty now. This one has matches because you never know when you're gonna need matches, but the others are empty. And these are empty. And these are holding little things of paint that I got, you know, the samples. And I can always add baking soda to those and make them chalk paint. So I have one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about 10 of the pockets are just holding a little paint. But did I know what's in there? It's not stuff stuffed in there and I'm not sure what it is. It's so nice. Of course you need your WD-40, everybody does. And these three are holding paint rollers, uh, you know. And look how neat. And I even have empty space, isn't that nice? I'm so excited. But yeah, that's it. And so some of you are wondering where I, how I house and store my dinnerware in. There you have it. You saw the mess that I had before, but now it's gonna be a lot easier to deal with. I do know that I am going to have to practice the one in or two in and two out method to keep it this way. So that's what I'm going to have to do. But I think I have enough colors that I can mix and match and still make a pretty table unless I run across something that is just, just so beautiful I can't leave it in the store. <laughs> and I doubt that's going to happen anytime soon. Back there I have mason jars because I'm always crafting in the back, back there. And so that's it guys, we did it. So I want you to leave a nice comment for Orlando in the bottom. And then just when you leave your comments, let him know that you saw that he was working hard too. He did help out a lot today and I appreciate it. So you guys just say hello to him, he'll like that, okay? And it's done. One more for the books. <laughs> so guys, before I go, I do want to thank you all who stuck and stayed till the end. I appreciate you. I really, really do. And um, if you're new here, I don't see why you would not hit that subscribe button so that you will be notified of all upcoming content. And once you do, why don't you hit that bell as well so you'll be notified of um, when everything comes out, okay? Also, if you are a new subscriber, I want you to know that I see you, I see you. And I am so very blessed and pleased that you're here. So glad you decided to join our little family over here. I hope that you will leave comments and talk so that we can get to know each other. And you've joined, so I'm sure you know that this is a lifestyle channel and we do organizing as we did today. We do cleaning, we do cooking, uh, home decor, and we're going to do some soulful living as well in 2022. We're just going to talk about life. We're all living it. We're all going through it. So why not discuss it? Sometimes it's good to talk to people, right? So anyway, that's what we do here on A Cozy Lifestyle. And if you haven't already subscribed, do so. Do so. I noticed that a lot of you watch and have not subscribed. And I don't know why not. It doesn't cost you anything. And it does help my channel. I'd appreciate it. Okay? With that said, you know how I always leave you. With lots of love, hugs, and blessings. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Lately my thoughts got me dead